I've just left Ali's and I'm literally a couple of minutes down the road and my son texts me, oh, dad's being really mean. And my husband texts me, oh, your son's being really mean. anything what am I supposed to do I mean it's really difficult when you're in a marriage that is you know he's the stepfather he's not the real father and you love both of them and you just want them to get on and I mean I love that my husband has taken on my boy um, but I can't I can't help I can't I can't be a mediator there's nothing that I can do there's nothing I can say but yeah, I don't know what you're supposed to do as a as a parent when you're trying to, you know, do things like I I'm on this I'm on this trip because I've promised my mum every year until she passes that I will come and spend a minimum of like four to six weeks with her every year because I can't live here because of my work over in New Zealand and I love this country and I would move back here in a heartbeat but I just can't because I have commitments in New Zealand and that's just what I've got to do. So, yeah, it does become very difficult. So I've had an amazing time at Ali's. It's been so lovely to catch up with her and her family. And now I'm on my journey down to visit my other bridesmaid, Hazel. And we've known each other for a million years. Um, she used to work with me back in New Zealand and now she's moved back to England. Lucky her. And so, yeah. I'm now on the road so I'm time-lapsing my journey because I really want to show you what the countryside looks like because it's just so green and beautiful and I don't know where I'm going I've got to work out my directions